the lovely people from VPR Motover invited me along to their inspection area to do an unboxing on a new super cool helmet that they've got. So let's dive right into the unboxing, the Viper RSV 171 BL Plus 3.0. On with the unboxing. Absolutely stunning. It's the Viper RSV 171 BL Plus 3.0 system. Viper's latest addition to its Bluetooth helmet range. This is a flip front helmet. As you can see, has a boom mic and a multifunction button on the side. When we're happy, let's take a quick look to see what actually comes with the helmet. Little warranty card. Viper model number, user guide, anyone ever use them? Not sure I do. Instructions, let's have a look see what's in the instructions. Also, and most importantly, we get a USB cable in the box. I've been assured by Viper that this USB cable can be plugged into absolutely any USB port. So this is great if you're out touring on your bike or if you've actually got a USB port on your bike, which a lot of bikes have nowadays. So let's take a closer look at the actual functionality of the helmet and what it can do. Now, as well as being able to connect up to nearly every phone that's out there nowadays, that's the way Bluetooth works. Bluetooth connects up to nearly everything, especially if you've got one of these modern phones, Android phone, Apple phone, any phone basically. But what this helmet also does is it'll connect up to a sat-nav system and it has full intercom functionality. Basically, bike to bike, rider to rider, up to about eight to 900 meters, direct line of sight. If you can see them, you can talk to them. The helmet weighs in at around 1550 grams, which is super light as far as I'm concerned for a flip front helmet, when you consider that the Bluetooth system is actually built into this. Now, most of the Bluetooth systems that are out there on the market themselves weigh about three or 400 grams. So imagine adding that extra weight to the helmet you've already got. It's almost sure to be heavier than this helmet. We've got a quick release visor system on the helmet. So if for any reason you need to remove the visor for clean or such like it makes it super easy to do really easy to do need to stop saying super all the time the helmet comes with a drop down integrated sun shield which is absolutely essential for that early morning or late afternoon rides out where you know the sun can really get in your eyes and the helmet has what viper tell us is their most comfortable liner yet this helmet fits like a glove. Well, no, it fits like a helmet, but it fits like a glove. So now we've had a quick look at the basics of the helmet, let's dive into the functionality of the helmet and how this thing actually works. As you can see, it's got a little dial on the front here, which we use for turning the volume up, the volume down. It can also use for skipping tracks when you're playing music. And it's also the button that we use to swap between intercom mode and phone mode. So when we look at the smaller button behind it, this is actually the button that we'll use to turn the helmet on and off. It's also the button that we'll use for pairing. Let's have a look to see how easy it is to pair this up. As you can see, there's a smaller button just behind it, which is used for pairing the helmet and turning the helmet on. So let's have a look to see how easy it is to pair this helmet up. Viper have told me by just holding the button in for a few seconds, we'll get power. If we hold it in for a bit longer till we see a red and a blue light flashing, the helmet's now in pairing mode. Now all we need to do is go to our phone. Then just put your phone into discovery mode and put it into search. Very shortly, a little line should come up that says Viper Bluetooth helmet. Press on it and that's all you need to do. Within a couple of seconds, your helmet should be paired up. Absolutely simple, absolutely easy, a complete breeze. Now, although the pairing procedure is slightly different for putting the helmet into an intercom mode with another helmet, Viper tell us it's just as easy, and I can assure you it is. It's an absolute doddle. Okay, so VPR Moto told us it was an easy process, but let's have a look to see how easy it actually is in a real life situation. Now, Bluetooth turned on, yes. Little button on the side, hold it in. Power on. Power on. Keep my finger on the button. Pairing. Red and blue light flashing. We're in pairing mode. Scan for device. Find Bluetooth device. Press Bluetooth. Pairing successful. Device pairing connected. successful and ready to go. It's as easy as that, folks. Now, as I talked about, the features that this helmet have are obviously you can use it for an intercom mode from rider to rider. It will also pair up to your phone. It'll pair up to a Garmin or a TomTom -Tom rider or something like that. These are the basic features that the helmet have. 
But what VPR Motor have also told us is this helmet has full control over voice functions on your phone. So if you've got an Apple phone with Siri, or you've got an Android phone with Google, or if you've got either of the two and you put Alexa on it, it will still work. Let's have a little look to see how that works. Okay, so now we've got the helmet connected up to your phone. Let's not forget this is also a fully fledged intercom system. This thing will connect to another Viper helmet and give you up to about 900 meters line of sight connectivity. It will also connect up to a TomTom -Tom rider and a Garmin. But the thing we really want to talk about is the thing that those clever little boffins at VPR Motor have told me that this thing will do. Apparently it has full voice connectivity with Google and Siri services. Let's see it in action. Take me to MSG bike gear. The sounds brilliant on this. Okay Google, play me some music. The bass on this thing is absolutely brilliant, the treble's really good, it's just an absolutely fantastic sound. Google, stop playing music. So it's as easy as that, full voice control over your phone. As I say, if you've got an Apple phone, it will work with Siri. I have an Android phone, so obviously it's Google services, but pretty much work with any voice communication systems that you've got on your phone. Superb, fantastic. This is one of the features that I think sets this system apart from a lot of other helmets. Not to mention it's so easy to use and you don't have to faff around with taking liners out and putting wires in and strapping things to the side of your helmet, increasing weight, worry it's gonna fall over. Why not just buy the thing from scratch, fully factory fitted? This is a seamless system and I would urge anybody that's interested in Bluetooth or touring or anything like that to take a real close look at this helmet because it is fantastic. Now another interesting and very generous addition to the helmet is the fact that the nice little people at VPR Motor have actually included a pin lock insert in the box. Now this thing's free of charge. Let's not forget that these things generally retail around 30 to 60 pounds. So that's a lot of freebies given away with absolutely every helmet. Now if you don't know what a pin lock is, you're really missing out. And for those of you that do know what a pin lock is, will you know how invaluable they are. In the depths of winter, when everything's steaming up on your visor, you'll wish you had one of these because these things keep your visor crystal clear, no steam, perfect vision every time, honestly. Pinlock is definitely the way to go. So when you get your Bluetooth 171, make sure the very first thing you do is put the Pinlock insert into the helmet and it'll keep you fog free.